in some American states. Once the birth certificate of a child, a newborn child, is signed, the non-biological father becomes legally responsible for that child. If a paternity test comes back negative, so let's say the father of the the non-biological father or the guy uh, the woman who gave birth is married to does a paternity test maybe he has questions if a paternity if the paternity test comes back negative later it will be considered equitable paternity and the non-biological father will still be responsible for child support. So you're married, he does a paternity test. Uh, it comes out negative, he's not the father. Guess what? He will still be responsible for the child support. Even after being the presumed father for a short period of time, the courts will rule in favor of child support the courts say the immediate well-being of the child is more important what's the best option for men uh, you can recommend getting a paternity test before signing the birth certificate well guess what in some extreme cases there is also prenatal non-invasive paternity tests even prenatal Paternity test will not free the non-biological father who happens to be the husband from the responsibility. So, if your wife gets pregnant and uh, you question, let's say you are, you are concerned about the child being yours and you do a paternity test, and it happen, you happen not to be the father of the kid. Even if it was before the kid was born. Because there are those uh, prenatal non-invasive paternity tests. Which are available. You do one. The test will not free you from the responsibility. So this is not one of the ways that you are still going to escape. So even if you decide to divorce your newly pregnant wife, you will still be responsible for that kid. So if the child is conceived in marriage, even if the husband, you, even if you are not the real father, the child is the responsibility of the husband by default. This is why women love marriage, especially most American women. Uh, and I'm talking about women in the dominant society in America. This is why they love marriage. So any child, so even if she goes out there and cheats, the child responsibility belongs to the, that child guy who is married to her the mother will have to voluntarily disclose the identity of the biological father and a legal process of paternity determination will have to get started nothing can force the mother of the child from disclosing who the real father of the child is if the mother does not want to disclose the real father or the real father does not come forward, the husband will be responsible for a child that is not his. Yes. That's why the dominant society in America loves the protection of marriage. It's a business. It's a contract where the equilibrium is tilted. It's a contract. So, 
women. So what does this say? This means that women can cheat, lie, betray, and the law will always be on their side.